going to be showing today is an uh, idea I had recently to make textbooks uh, touchable in Drupal. So I found this library recently that uh, just I didn't realize this was possible. Um, and so it's called Quo, and Quo.js um, allows for touch-based event detection. Um, it's very similar to jQuery, um, but as it says you know, here in the little description I wrote, um, calls things at double dollar sign instead of single, so you can use it mixed in with jQuery. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the library, um, you can go to this, it's uh, quojs.tapquo.com. Um, it's an MIT-based library, has very nice marketing, as you can see. Uh, but these are basically the events that you can start to detect for on your site uh, using this library. So thought, wouldn't it be cool to try and set up um, book outlines in Drupal to basically act as an e-reader would? You know, if you had a like a Kindle Fire or something and you kind of flick at the edge of the page, wouldn't it be great to do that in a browser? Uh, so then there's this module in the world to implement the Quo library. Um, it allows for the inclusion of other touch-capable libraries, but for now it's just making use of Quo and that's all I've tested it with. Uh, so Book Touch will give you some options for applying the ability to swipe back and forth um, within book outlines so that you kind of, you know, that, again, I'm doing a screencast on a desktop, won't be quite the same effect, but you can simulate a swipe with um, clicking the button and dragging and letting go. That's effectively a swipe, if you will, um, when, when you're doing it with your hand. So let's see what this looks like when you have it installed. Um, to get it installed, first, you're going to go to the Quo Quo.js website. You're going to download um, Quo, so you just, it gives you a .js file. After you unzip it, uh, you throw it in libraries, Quo.js, and then Quo.js. Um, the modules then, there's just Quo, and then there's the uh, book touch uh, modules. So you just download both of those in the module directory. Um, and then here's my example course I have. So I'm moving in, and we're going to enable Book Touch, which is listed under Book, and Quo, which I believe is listed under User Interface. Uh, yeah, there we go. So Quo is under User Interface. So you enable those two, and then what you end up getting for Book Touch is under Configuration uh, and User Interface, you get Book Touch settings. So these are the defaults. Um, you see, there is support for other uh, libraries that are touch capable, or if you want to write your own, you can do that in the future. Um, so it's at least set up to handle them, but Quo at the moment, and it's out of the box, it works. Um, whether or not to debug, which will actually display the zone. So we're going to turn debugging on just so you can see what it is I have the ability to click on and, and do the swipe with. Um, size of the swipe zone. So you can go anywhere from 5% to 30%. This is just a little jQuery and CSS. So if you really wanted to, you can you, know, you can do custom ones um, through jQuery. Um, pinch to bookmark currently isn't working. Um, because I don't have flags turned on this, and so I haven't gotten a chance to test it, but the uh, next page and previous page does work. Um, also, it's kind of hard to test pinching on a desktop computer <laughs> when you don't have that input kit capability. Uh, so let's set this to 10. We'll do debugging. Uh, we'll turn off bookmark. We won't worry about it. And we'll have a next and a previous zone. So let me close this and see reloads. And when you turn debugging on, you get a green area for left and a <clears throat> uh, left slash previous, and a red area for right slash forward. And so you, know, you can see these are touch capable zones. They are percentage based positioning um, and mobile responsive. So as I move this around, you'll notice they take up their same percentage. That's why they're percentage based. Um, and I picked 10% because you'll see when we get into phone mode, they're not ridiculous. They're not taking up you know, a lot of the screen. And then tablet mode, which is right you know, anywhere from here to about here, um, it's still a pretty good area. And actually, in a lot of themes, you'll be able to thumb off the content, which is um, important you'll find when you use a mobile device to actually test this. Uh, so to simulate you know, a swipe, it's a click and a drag real quickly. So if I do this, you can see we go forward in the book. Um, it doesn't always pick up the detection because I'm you know, on the desktop. But, um, so I go forward if I do that zone. And for this one, we go backward. 
through the pages and you'll notice the nav is flipping through them. Um, so all this is doing is uh, it's figuring out what the next and previous pages are in the book. It will only apply this to books. Um, so if you go somewhere that doesn't have a book, it's not going to apply it. If you go to you know, like the I go to the first page, this uh, I don't think it will do anything then. Uh, so this first outline is now I'm unable to do anything because there aren't any previous pages. Um, but then I can just keep going next, next page, next page. And you imagine doing this with your thumb on a touch capable device, which you will need to you know, put it on a server. <laughs> and I have this in local depth, so I will be testing this shortly after I stop recording um, to get some of the percentages down. But uh, that's basically what it's engineered to do. Um, I'm hoping to get the pinch functionality working once I uh, create you know, a flag that allows for bookmarking. Really shouldn't be that difficult to do. Um, the way that, that Book Touch utilizes uh, Quo and its integration just to get a look at the back, because there aren't a lot of good demos of the documentation I found. Um, so you'll see this is jQuery mashed up with Quo and Hookup. Um, this is all you do. So you, it's very similar to jQuery, except you put another one in front of it, and that gives you access to all these other functions. Um, there is some redundancy in doing this, so you're loading another library that's you know, 8 to 10K or something. Um, because it does have a lot of selectors that are similar to jQuery. It actually operates a lot like jQuery. Um, the reason for this is so that it can you know, operate independent of any library, which is you know, important for something of this scope to do. So book touch next then is going to do a right swipe detection. And then if that's the case, it will make sure that there's actually a link to go to and then just triggers to go to it. So um, pretty basic. Uh, I mentioned the zones can be configured and that's how that's all it's doing to implement that setting, so it's very easy to override. So if you have any questions or other requests, I'm not really sure what other types of um, touch-sensitive e-text app gestures we could get in here, but I'd be very open 